Welcome to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and we are continuing our conversation with Lemroy Jones. He is known as the Career Dude, and you need to follow him on Twitter at Career Dude Tweet or on Facebook simply at Career Dude. And we have been talking about topics such as how do you handle a job loss emotionally and mentally. Uh, yesterday we talked about how do you maintain your faith during a job loss. And also Lemroy offered some really good tips about how people could help support people in their sphere of influence when they suffer an unexpected job loss. So if you missed either one of those programs, Really want to encourage you to go to our website, hopeishere.today. Check those out. You can actually email those podcasts to people if you know somebody that's gone through a job loss and need to encourage them. I uh, hope that you will check that out. Go to the website, hopeishere.today. Those are only 14 minutes long, so uh, it can be a real blessing to somebody. But, Lemroy, let's get on uh, the solution side of things. We've talked about those other two topics, which I think were very, very important, but I know people are saying, okay, uh, help me find a job. Uh, What are some positives and what are some things that people can do that say, hey, I need a plan to help find a new job? I think one is is find a source of motivation and and focus for yourself because it's not going to be an easy process. And so you need to plan appropriately. And so what's going to be your motivator? What's going to be the thing that's your rock um, for you? I think the second thing is um, think about this as a fresh start, a new beginning. Um, if, if you don't want to go that route and looking at it, focus it as a recalibrating, you know, reprioritizing because at the, at the end of the day, you're not going to go where you were. Even if you get the identical job, it's going to be a different company. Um, and, and just keep, keep that in mind. Those are two things that are going to be really, really vital for you to, to consider. And then think about um, retraining or some additional training or education. Um, this is a great opportunity now, um, particularly if you're receiving a severance package or, or unemployment. But understand that you're on a clock, so don't get too comfortable with one of the recommendations that I give people, is with, which is, and, and it's kind of hard for some individuals to see this being a positive and a, an actual strategy, but enjoy the time that you have that's down now. You know, maybe it's going to be doing volunteer work. Um, I, I was watching um, the, 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 the wedding, um, the royal wedding the other day, and the queen and, and you know, the, the princess and her, and her prince was in a carriage, and I saw someone that I know that has gone through this experience, and they were there over in England. And so um, this person has had job loss in the past, and she's out over in Europe right now um, enjoying some time away from the job search. So they, these things do happen in your life, but that doesn't mean that it's, it's doom and gloom. You know, enjoy the process. Keep a perspective. And then um, the, the normal things for the job search process is not just the resume and getting that polished, but making sure you have a cover letter because the cover letter plus the resume when you submit your application to a company is going to make you stand out far greater than anyone else. And keep in mind, when you do submit that cover letter and resume, it should be customized to the position that you're applying for. To submit a generic cover letter and a generic uh, resume puts you in the stack of a lot of individuals that get rejected. So you want to customize it and be very strategic in, in applying for positions that you have. And then maximize your network. If you're going to apply for a position, know who you're going to be submitting the resume to because the, to whom it may concern or um, dear hiring manager, that tells me you haven't taken any investment in your time to really um, put yourself above other candidates. But when someone sends me a letter and it's customized and my name is on it, my title, my office, my university where I'm working at, I will read it. And most hiring managers are like that. So it may be you getting on LinkedIn. It may be you um, finding some other search engine tool. Maybe it's a company website. Maybe it's simply calling that company, the receptionist, um, or walking in and finding out who the hiring manager is and getting the information firsthand. But whatever you do is spend more time than, than the average person. And we're talking hundreds or into the thousands that will not do this. And you will stand out. And, then, again, target your search. Don't send 100 applications out. Identify those um, 10 positions that you're interested in in those 10 companies and then apply appropriately. Well, and one of the things you put in one of the articles that you wrote, uh, you you said, you know, say thank you. 
And, I mean, I, sometimes, a lot of times, we just don't even hear those simple words, please and thank you, that we learned as a child. And when well, you're in that job search process, uh, please and thank you uh, cannot be said enough, can they? You, you, you absolutely are right. And not only to the individuals that you are applying to positions, because it's always within 24 hours, you're going to send a thank you note. And it's appropriate to send emails, but don't get casual. Don't say, dear Linda, I say, dear Mr. Jones. Until we are working together as colleagues, you don't want to get to that that, that casual type of um, relationship. But there, Mr. Jones, 24 hours. But then also, if someone helped you, whether it was for free or for pay, send a thank you note. Let them know, I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate you um, sending me a lead. Um, and, and I've even had individuals that I've invested some free time to you know, give a gift card unsolicited and so those individuals that i go they, they've got it and and most of those you know individuals nine out of ten they're back working sooner than later but that that etiquette doing the job search process and networking that does make a huge difference you do stand out and it also reflects that you're not stuck in a negative environment because of what happened in a job loss because they're not they weren't there they don't know anything other than what you're going to tell them and if you do dwell on what happened to you in the negative, they're going to think you're going to come into that work environment and bring that with you. So you definitely want to be able to embrace some etiquette. And if you don't know because maybe you haven't been taught that or maybe you're just kind of stuck, you know, um, go to the library and check out a book. Look at a TED Talk. Um, look on YouTube. There's a ton of information out there. Even LinkedIn has a ton of resources that are available for you to be able to either read um, or listen to in video or um, audio. We talked with Lynn Murray Jones, and he just wrote a great article recently for uh, the Lexington Herald Leader. The title was, It Takes Work to Find Work. These strategies can help create a successful job search. So I want to encourage you, if you're looking for a job, to Google that, uh, Lynn Murray Jones, and you can find him there at Kentucky.com. But it's the most recent article uh, uh, that he wrote here in May about this. And, you know, you, you talked about in the article about making time uh, to plan because uh, you, you do have to kind of, you know, as the old saying goes, uh, plan your work and work your plan, don't you? Absolutely. And and if, if you go at, at it on a whim, you could find employment, but you could have probably found even better if you really took time, which means you have to stop what you're doing and uh, provide yourself with an avenue to write down what are the goals that you have, you know, and, and consider – Okay, you know the situation that you left. You know that intimately. But what is the situation you want to get into? What type of culture do you want to work in? What type of values do you have, and does it match um, with the company that you're going to go work for? Um, and so if you take time to do that, and then you create some goals, some SMART goals, which are specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're realistic, and they're time-sensitive, those types of goals, at the end of the day, you can talk about um, doing your whole process that you'll have when it comes to the interview. So you can spend all your time with planning and your resume and your cover letter, but you're also going to want to spend some time um, with practice interviewing. You want to be able to either go to the resources, whether it's workforce development, career development, or maybe it's a, a um, an, an agency for um, placement. Uh, whatever it is, you want to be able to practice interviewing. And you can do that at home in a mirror by simply Googling some interview questions and begin the process of doing that. And you can even get more specific. If you want to go into sales, you can say interview questions for sales positions. And you'll get a ton of information that's out there. The library also have um, career books as well that you can check out on interviewing. But interviewing, the last time I checked, is the way that most individuals, like 99.99% of the people, will get a job offer. I've yet to see someone hand someone a resume and be hired. I can't say it won't happen. It's just not likely. So make sure you prepare for that that position as well. So in your planning, spend some time um, preparing for the interview because that's going to be the key when you get that, that interview opportunity. Well, no doubt about it. It doesn't do much good if you get an interview, if you don't come prepared to be able to do that well. And obviously, uh, like anything in life, uh, if you practice it, you prepare it, you'll do much better. Uh, one of the things that you just mentioned there, and I love that acronym, SMART, and I want to make sure our, our listeners got that. If they set yeah. SMART goals for trying to find a job, uh, t 
tell people again what the, the acronym SMART, S-M-A-R-T, stands for, please? Absolutely. It's, it's for developing your goal. And it's um, SMART is specific, M is measurable. Um, so you need to make sure it's a very specific goal, and it's going to be able to be measured, and it's achievable. So, for example, if you were making $40,000 when you lost your job and you said, well, my next job I want to make $150,000, um, that's not very um, achievable. Not saying that it can happen. It's just that you want to make sure that your your goal is going to be specific, measurable, achievable, and then realistic. You know, um, and then also, of course, time. So maybe you say, I want to find a job in 90 days, or maybe it's going to be in six months. Um, but whatever you do, you want to be able to have some smart goals that are developed. All right, that's really good stuff there. Uh, one of the things that Lemory really talked about in this article, too, is there's a, a book that's called Knock 'em Dead, The Ultimate Job Search Guide. That's by Martin Yate. And there's just a lot of great resources out there, isn't there, Lemory? Absolutely. Anything that's written by Martin Yate, um, um, I, I, I think you can't go wrong. <laughs> there are some um, that you can go to any of the, the bookstores, the booksellers that are out there. Or you can go to the, your local library and actually check those books out as well. He has some also some job search um, kits that are out there. Um, and depending on where you go, you may able, be able to catch some of those um, books on sale. But he's a, a career guru that's um, not just um, in the United States, but he's globally renowned and um, highly respected and regarded. He's a veteran in this career management area that basically our conversation is is, is, is is evolving around, um, but there's a lot of other you know great authors out there as well. But one of the things I would caution you on is individuals that that write a job book, a job search book, is not always the best qualified person. So look at what the author's background is before you spend any money. Um, and again, you can always go to the library, and there's a ton of books on audio that you can do in um, um, through the library as well. But lots of um, resources that are out there. All right. Well, Leroy, it's hard to believe, but uh, we're almost out of time again. But you've got wow. a plethora of research, uh, both on your uh, Twitter account, Facebook. Uh, just share what's the best way for people to try to have access to you if they've got questions or just to find lots of this information that you've posted over the last few years. Yeah, I think um, the Career Dude um, page on Facebook, um, every article has been put there. Um, um, I actually... Um, have a Twitter account. You've, you've talked about the Twitter account. Um, Leonard Jones is, 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 is not as uh, common, um, but you'll find me. Um, it'll be a smiling face, and it's all resources that help individuals um, shorten the gap between the, the job search that they're going through and the employers that they're trying to connect with. And you can also link in with me as well. Um, I do some career coaching, but I, I don't do, I don't take on a lot of clients. I do get an opportunity to um, exchange some um, emails once in a while with, with clients, depending on the, the volume that's going on in my um, my job and ministry opportunities that I have. But it's been great, Greg. I, I do, again, humbly thank you for inviting me on. And any time I can help out, um, just let me know. All right. Well, man, it's been tremendous encouragement to those who have lost a job. And I close with a quote that you put in your uh, most recent article by Abraham Lincoln. It said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And, uh, Lemroy, thanks so much for always uh, helping me and so many others have a brighter future. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate being on here. Be blessed. All right, that is Lenroy Jones. He is the Career Dude. You need to follow him on Twitter at Career Dude Tweet or check out his Facebook page, Career Dude, or just simply Google Lenroy Jones, uh, Kentucky.com. Wrote a lot of great articles. Uh, make sure if you know somebody that's had a job loss, let them know about uh, Lenroy because, man, he is a great encouragement with some also great hands on tools. Well, my name's Greg Horn. Well, I hope to see you next time on Hope Is Here. CMI is your full-service human resources provider in Central Kentucky. For 15 years, CMI Human Resources has taken great pride in helping organizations and people work. Whether it's employee handbooks or help in filling a position, no job is too large or too small for CMI. Contact the professionals today at CMI Human Resources, 859-296-2800 or online at cmiconsulting.com. 